Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. We have two days until the Crown Tundra. So while I was gonna let my next few tournament games stack up again to give you guys, you know, the last three at least in one video, I figured that's gonna be coming to the Crown Tundra anyway, and it's gonna be less hype, especially because of everything uh, going on. So we have my next snake draft game. For those that did not see my other ones, I encourage you to check it out. I'll leave the video down below as a 17 minute video. Um, it was a very, I think it was a good video in my opinion because you know it's, it's all tournaments. It's, it's supposed to be high level games. So if you guys want to check them out, again, feel free to. But in this one, I made a Duraludon set. This was inspired by uh, Rabia, who um, was talking about like Iron Defense, Body Press, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, like Duraludon. Uh, that's like calm natured and uses like specific things, but I didn't necessarily want to use that. I feel like it was, I feel like sub plus body press went really well versus realistic waters, who's a very, very, very good NU player. Um, I think higher ranked than me as well in the uh, the rankings. I mean, to be expected, I'm not an NU main. <laughs> I don't really main any tier, but uh, yeah. So it's sub iron defense. Uh, body press and flash cannon. The idea was that Realistic Waters has used Galarian Stunfisk multiple times and after an iron defense and our defense investment uh, it does not break the sub and we can 2 KO with body press and just take advantage of a lot of his builds. Now currently uh, the Titans are down uh, I believe 3-5 at the moment. If I lose this game our entire season is over. So just like last time, if I lost my last game, our entire season is over. If I win it, it's 4 and 5, and then my buddy Amir has to tie it up for us to still have a shot, even if it's a small shot. We had to win the week to be, and to win the next two weeks, to like have some, we've just been tying all these weeks or losing, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so I have to win this one, and then Amir has to win his, and then we have to obviously do well next week as well. But uh, Realistic Waters has clearly counter styled me. <laughs> Clefairy, which is very funny because the Clefairy is actually named Hello Aim because um, I've been using Silvali Dragon a lot and it's been putting in work. We have the Gastrodon uh, plus Clefairy for the Wishy Washy I love to use. We have a Scavalier just because it's very good. Um, Gallade is just strong in general. It's a really good Pokemon. Uh, and then their own Silvali, which we find out is Dragon, which I think is pretty fitting. But uh, my Duraludon goes in once I find out what type of Gastron that is because it can set up on so many other Pokemon. In fact, Gastron is like the biggest threat. Uh, I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background eating some food, but uh, Gastron is the biggest threat for me. I do a Freeze Dry on Vanillix though. I do Toxic on Lantern. I actually brought Curse Mill Tank, uh, inspired by Xenon from back in the day. Although, I mean, Curse Mill Tank has been a set for a long time, but I remember it was, like, they call it Ultra Version 2 or something like that. Ultra version 2, well he used to call it Ultra because of his accent. So we're bringing that, we got some heat today. A shout out to PDT as well for uh, helping with this rush team. We actually completed the team about 10 minutes before my game even though it was very important. Uh, but yeah, let's just start it off. I decided to lead off a Ninjask just because of its speed tier versus everything. I figured a Scavalier would actually be a lead versus me, but Ninjask had a good matchup versus Galate. And I have Silvali Poison, so like the plan was always, I haven't pressed play yet by the way. The plan was always to lead a Scavalier and then you turn out if they, um, if they lead a Scavalier or lead Ninjask if they lead a Scavalier and then you turn out to Silvali Poison because they're going to go for knockoff. Uh, so yeah, I lead Ninjask, lead off with a Scavalier. We're going to U-turn out of there. That investment or the damage shows me it's max HP. I bring out my Silvali Poisons, they go for knockoff and now I know that they are uh, more of a, it's still offensive, it does have some attack investment but more of a support set. So. A uh, Savali Poison coming in on a Scavalier screams Flamethrower, so I'm going to go for U-turn as they reveal Savali Dragon. And this allows me to bring out my Ice Cream Cone, uh, which they don't expect me to be Scarf. Interesting. Uh, right here, but I get some chip off on them, and I'm going to go right for the Blizzard as they go for Parting Shot. Unfortunately, it's named Hello Aim, which is so funny. Unfortunately, I get a crit on them, which is pretty bad because obviously uh, I weaken this Pokemon for like Ninja. I mean, I'm, I'm not weak to Clefairy at all. I have Curse Heal, uh, Heal Bell, Mill Tank. My, my Lantern had Heal Bell too, so I had double Heal Bell. Duraludon does not care about this Mon. This can beat it with Taunt, and I have Silvalli Poison. But still, it sucks to crit it, because I mean, that's, a, that's just a crit that I wouldn't have had. So, I go for Taunt here, that way it can't go for like Stealth Rock or Soft Boil, as they end up going for Seismic Toss. 
And what I decided to do here is make the Savali Poison play as they end up doubling out into Scavalier. Uh, it was a good mid-ground anyway because it threatens them with multi-attack, but also if they want to bring out... A Scavalier was also a switch that made sense if they don't want to take extra damage on Clefairy. Um, because it could just come in on Blizzards and on minus one, so... Uh, this is good because I can throw it with a flamethrower. At this point, uh, I didn't want them to potentially protect if they had it because I saw protect before. So I go for the flamethrower on the Gashadon coming in. Probably should have U-turn in hindsight, but I mean, that mod's really annoying to switch into. And if they go for knockoff on something, I, I stand by that play. A safe flamethrower is fine. So I go for U-turn. Uh, Gashadon showed no item last turn, so I'm assuming heavy duty boots plus sticky hold. Uh, so I bring on my Vanillix just to uh, threaten it because I could take an Earth Power, I could take Toxic, and then threaten it back with Blizzard. They crit me right here and knock me out. Now, at the time I ran the Calc, and it was either... Uh, the crit kind of hurt because not... not they, They're specs, so the crit didn't matter, right? But the crit hurt because I couldn't figure out immediately if they were specs or not. I just thought they might have had some investment for like a, a sub poly Wrath or, or or something like a... Like a, a, a sub Silvali with like Scalds to be able to break this up. I don't know, but... Uh, specs was kind of there, but I was more so under the impression that they had just some special attack investment because they—I don't think they need like 40 in order to knock out Vanilla to a crit. So um, I bring my Lancer here to threaten them with Toxic because if I can wear this thing down, basically uh, this thing is almost in range of plus two Duraludon's body press. So if I can Toxic it, I can wear them down. Toxic with Hail. Um, I'm also like a Lantern, so I figured I could take an Earth Power. This is where that last turn really comes into play here, but. I decide to uh, make a little bit of an aggressive play. I don't want to give them uh, Clefairy on a switch in on Toxic. So I actually go for Volt Switch in front of a Gastron. And luckily it works out. Had they stayed in, again, their specs, they would have knocked me out in one hit. But this ends up allowing me to bring out my Silvali. And uh, once again, I can just threaten them here. Uh, I go for U-Turn on the incoming Gastron. And I still decide to go Lantern because I'm still not 100% sure it's specs at this point. But I'll take this trade any day of the week. So it turns out they are specs. Um, I'll take this trade any day of the week because the Toxic has and plus hail puts them in range of ninja as you turn and duraludon's body press so i 100 percent take this trade this is fine like lantern wasn't that useful in the game anyway um so now they're 100 percent in range of ninja so you have no flyers just another team if you guys didn't notice uh, which i did take notice obviously at preview but i'm gonna be able to bring up my savali to bait out the galade and the reason i want to bait out the galade is because i want to figure out if it's life orb or scarf or anything and if they go for zen headbutt i can bring out duraludon and start going to work with it they unfortunately miss a Zen Headbutt right there, and I decided to just keep up offensive pressure because I still don't know if they're Life Orb or, or Scarf or anything because my Silvali Poison is slower than a Max V Galate. So I go Ninjask and just decide to go right for the U-turn. As they, I'm sorry, they, they, you said they said Rats, they've missed it. As they go on to uh, Weezing, and right here I go Duraludon because this mom bluffs specs like no other, right? Flash Cannon and Draco, it's one of the better specs Pokemon in the tier. Um, I wish they gave Duraludon like Overheat or Flamethrower or whatever. Cause it looks like a toilet and you know some people be dropping heat in the toilet but like anyway like this this mon right here i bluff basically draco or flash cannon so i decide to throw off an iron defense because if i was my opponent i would go out into a scavalier to take a draco or whatever attack so i go for iron defense here and this is very important because down this means that i'll take every hit bar close combat from uh, a scavalier and leftover scavalier doesn't typically run close combat so i go for sub now as they bring out clefairy uh, fearing body press and um, this is great because I have the flash cannon. Because of the crit earlier, this is a guaranteed KO. Now, depending, um, it could have still KO'd, depending on the Clefairy. Uh, but at 43%, it's a guaranteed KO. I actually get a crit here anyway, but that doesn't matter. At 43% is a guaranteed KO for my Duraludon. So I knock him out there. I'm now plus two defense behind a sub. They bring out their Salvali Dragon and not wanting to, I guess, sack it. They end up going for party shot. But body press is not affected by the attack drop since it's a defensive attack. So I go right for uh, double body press. I actually go for another iron defense here because now I'm stronger to knock out potentially Savali Dragon on a roll, a uh, Galate I'll be able to take on. Basically, like I said, if they hit that Zen Headbutt, I could have potentially gone out into Duraludon and done this earlier. So it sucked for them, but also not giving the information hurt me too. So um, even at minus, minus uh, one special attack, I'm still able to three KO the Weezing and because of my special defense investment, Weezing's Flamethrower does not break my sub there. So I am able to uh, basically get some good damage, sub up again, and then knock him out with the third flash cannon just like I would have done even if I didn't get the spit up drop. I actually go for body press here just because it hits more or hits them harder. And at this point, they're gonna go out into their Silvali to go for a Flamethrower. Um, that way they don't miss. I go for body press. I could have potentially iron defense as well. I, I, I thought this was a roll to KO them, so I didn't bother going for a third iron defense uh, in front of Weezing to be max defense. 
But the Rallodon would have won immediately uh, had that been the case. But um, they live on 2%. A Draco is definitely coming out, and I have no reason to take it. I got Miltank, the mascot, right here. Gonna take that easily, 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 because I'm max special defense. And we're just gonna throw off a body slam because I do not care what the hell uh, a Scavalier wants to do. I have a defensive uh, iron defense. Duraludon, I still have the flamethrower Savali poison, thankfully because of the not thankfully, but I still have it as a guaranteed flamethrower because of the dodge. Again, that was a roll, but it was a roll that was in their favor. Uh, if they're scarf, which they are. So they bring out their Galade here. They're forced to go for close combat since Zen Headbutt will not knock me out. And if they go for Zen Headbutt, I just bring out the Rally down again and just set up again. You know? So at minus one, they die to U-turn from Ninja. So I go right for that and we bring out the boy. Now, well the girl, apparently. Um it's a roll to knock out. Uh, uh, knock me out or knock out my sub with a knockoff so i just decided to go for it there who cares though because all i gotta do is go for an iron defense here and if they go for close combat with their glade it doesn't knock me out i do massive damage back to them and i uh, basically win with ninjask or flamethrower so i go for body press they end up tricking uh, which is an interesting play because yeah i'm not sure what they were trying to do maybe a uh, hope and pray that i go for flash cannon here over body press which is just stronger because not stronger, but it's like just a strong move in general to go for. Actually, it might have been strong. No, no, no. If they got minus one, flash game was stronger. But it's just a strong move in general to go for. Um, they ended up tricking me a choice scarf. I get a crit there. It did not matter because I would have 2 KO'd them anyway. And yeah, I'm fast them now because of their choice scarf. And Duraludon is able to win this game. So we brought the nastiest Duraludons that ended up working out. I am now 5-2 and two in NU. Uh, tied with a few people for the highest um, rank in NU. And uh, yeah, we end up winning this one. Unfortunately, my buddy Amir was not able to win his game. So I think the Titans are basically out. I still have two more weeks to play. Obviously, Crown Tundra's here. I'm still going to try my best and, uh, you know, or as best as I can. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.